हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड विद अनुराग वेर यू कैन फाइंड लेटेस्ट जॉब अपडेट एंड कम्प्लीट प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एल डिस्कस आई बी एम लेटेस्ट सी एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन विच वर आस्क इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल डिस्कस फाइव क्वेश्चन विद स्टेप बाई स्टेप सोल्यूशन सो प्लीज वॉच फुल वीडियो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो विदाउट वेस्ट एन टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज हाउ मेनी टाइम्स विल इट प्रिंट हेलो वर्ड सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज दोड कोड इज हैज इंक्लूड एस टी डी ओ डॉट एच मेन देर इज अ मेन मैथड आफ्टर दैट इट इज प्रिंटिंग प्रिंट एफ हेलो वर्ड देन अगेन मेन मैथड सपोज देर इज नो मेन सपोज इफ दिस मेन इफ यू इग्नोर दिस मेन देन दिस इज वेरी सिंपल सपोज देर इज नो मेन देन हाउ मेनी टाइम इट विल प्रिंट सो इट विल प्रिंट ओनली वन टाइम सिंपल प्रिंट एफ हेलो वर्ड दैट इज वेरी सिंपल बट वॉट इफ देर इज दिस मेन सो इफ देर इज दिस मेन देन वॉट विल हैपन आफ्टर प्रिंटिंग अगेन दिस हेयर वी आर कॉलिंग दिस मैथड अगेन दिस मेन मैथड अगेन सो आफ्टर प्रिंटिंग अगेन इट विल कॉल देन अगेन इट विल प्रिंट देन अगेन आफ्टर प्रिंटिंग अगेन इट विल कॉल अगेन इट विल प्रिंट अगेन इट विल कॉल मेन मैथड अगेन इट विल प्रिंट सो दिस विल दिस विल कंटिन्यू इन फाइनाइट टाइम्स सो आंसर इज इन फाइनाइट टाइम्स राइट सो करेक्ट आंसर इज इन फाइनाइट टाइम्स नाउ लेट मी रन दिस कोड सो दैट आई कैन गिव यू दैट वन सो लेट मी गिव द क्लैरिटी आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस कोड and i am going to run this <coughs> so this is a online compiler i am using this online compiler here i am going to run this code here i choose c language i pasted here now i am going to run this let's run this now code is running here you can see it is printing again and again again and again you can see in finite times it is printing you can see it is not stopping so it will print this thing in finite times right yeah now let's discuss about another example the yeah, answer question okay question number 2 is what will be the output of the following code so the, this is a code so what will be the output of this so question is if minus 7 then print f code with unwrap so please note uh, due to copyright i can't paste this same code which were asked in the ibm but uh, this is very similar code this is very similar question which were asked in Uh, which was asked in IBM, so don't worry. Uh, just I changed this value with code with unlock. There was something else, right? So don't worry. This is very very same code. Don't worry. Yeah. So now let's discuss this. So question is, if minus seven, then print this. Else print this. So now let me give you one example. So actually how it works. So suppose if there will be uh, instead of minus seven, okay. So if inside if if we write anything, anything if we write anything. Except zero. Suppose if we write one, then it will be true. If we write two, then also it will be true. If we write anything inside if, then it will go inside this condition. But if we write zero here, then it will not go in this condition. It will go in else part. So here, except zero, whatever we will write, whatever integer or integer value we will write here, then it will go inside this this condition. Otherwise, it will go inside this condition, right? So here. There is no zero, so there is minus seven. So what will happen? So it will go inside this condition. So this condition is true, minus seven. So it will go inside this condition and simply it will print this. So it will print code with unlock. So correct answer is A. That is code with unlock. Suppose if there will be if zero, then correct answer will be this something went wrong. Except zero, if there is anything anything integer value, then it will print this this part. So it will print. Code with Anurag, right? Yeah. <clears throat> And for your uh, simplicity or for your ex uh, explanation, let me do one thing. Let me copy this code and let me po paste in compiler, hello, so that you can understand it. Yeah. Now I'm going to run this code. I pasted here. Now I'm going to run this code. You can see correct uh, output is code with Anurag. Let me give another example. Suppose if instead of minus seven, I I write six, right? Again, if I try try to run, it will print code with Anurag only. Always any any value here. I if I write, it will print code with Anurag only. Only code with Anurag, right? But what if I print here zero? If I write zero, then it won't print this. Print this. Then it will go inside this this part, this else part, right? So I'm going to run now. It will print something went wrong, like this, right? I think now you understood, right? Yeah. Now let's move to next question. Question number three. So question number three is. What will be the output of the following code? So this is a question. What will be the output of this code? So 
again this is very similar to the previous one yeah because here we are using this so there is a concept of uh, so pre whatever concept i explained in the previous question that concept we will use here also right so let's start so okay so here first here static int equal to 5 so that is very simple so here simply we declared a int a equal to 5 right so value of a will be a equal to 5 right yeah so a equal to 5 now what will happen we will print a so here percentile a minus 1 so it will simply please note here we are uh, using we are writing a minus minus it means first it will print a then it will decrease the value by one by one right so first it will print this so first it will print 5 then after that what will happen it will decrease the value of 5 now actual value of 5 is 4 please note it will print 5 but after that it will decrease the value of a by 1 so now a equal to 4 right so after that what will happen here you can see there is one space so after that there is one space also now after that it is saying that if a what is value of a a equal to 4 now value of a is 4 right so here you know now if a value of a is 4 so if 4 so what will happen if 4 then it will print this one again so if 4 it means that is true it means it will again go in main part in main method so again it will go inside this method after that what will happen now value of a is equal to 4 then again it will print 4 after space it will print 4 now again value of a will be decreased by 1 now a will be equal to a equal to 3 right now value of a is 3 so if 3 here if 3 then again it will go that is true then again again it will go inside this method again it will print again it will print 3 again value of a will be decreased by minus 1 so a minus minus it again 3 minus 1 by equal to 2 so now value of a will be 2 again after that if 2 again that is true after that what will happen again it will it will go inside this method again what will happen again it will print it will print 2 after that what will happen again a will be decreased by 1 after that now value of a will be 1 now if 1 then again it will go inside this condition because that is true after that it will print 1 that is fine right till here it is fine after that what will happen now after printing 1 the value of a will be decreased by 1 so now value of a it will be zero now it will be zero now here it will be like if zero so if zero that is false then it won't go inside this condition now that is and now it won't go again inside the main method right so correct uh, correct output will be 5 4 3 2 1 correct answer is d 5 4 3 2 right now let's move to next question okay so before moving to next question let me do one more thing let me copy this code and let me run this code on compiler so here i am going to paste that code here i paste now i am going to run this code right here I, if i'll run here you can see correct output is 54321 that is correct right here you can see that is the correct output now let's move to next question so question number 4 so question number 4 is very um, very easy question but uh, you need to understand the concept of mod okay so in this video let me explain the first let me explain the concept of mod mod what is mod right so let me explain so uh, let me give one example suppose what is mod mod simply mod determines the remainder suppose if i write 7 mod please note mod this symbol of mod is this percentile this is the symbol of mod in c programming language even in any other programming language as well so suppose if i if i write 7 mod 2 then what is meaning of this it means what will be the output if we divide 7 by 2 If we divide seven by two, then what will be the output? Two, three, just six. Then sorry, what will be the remainder? If we divide seven by two, then remainder will be one, right? So correct output will be this, like this. So seven percentile two will be one, right? So, uh, let me give another example. Suppose if I write ten mod four, right? Now what will be the remainder if we divide ten by four? If we divide ten by four, then remainder will be four, two, just eight. And two, two will be the remainder. So output of this will be two, right? So this is the concept of mod. Let me give one last example. Suppose if I write nine percentile three, right? Percentile or mod or whatever you can say. So three percentile three, right? 
थ्री थ्री जै नाइन सो नाइन विल बी दी नाइन विल बी कम्प्लीटली डिविजल बाय थ्री सो आउटपुट विल बी रिमाइंडर विल बी जीरो राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज हाउ मॉड वर्क आई यू कैन राइट एम ओ डी और यू कैन राइट दिस परसेंटाइज सिंबल राइट नाउ लेट मी इरेज दिस आफ्टर दैट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस क्वेश्चन राइट लेट मी इरेज इरेजिंग ओके या सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज जस्ट स्टूडो कोड सिंपली सो दिस इज स्टूडो कोड सो वी कॉन्ट रन डायरेक्टली दिस कोड इन द कंपाइलर दिस इज जनरली जस्ट अ लैंग्वेज दिस इज सीडो कोड सो हेयर दिस इज जस्ट अ इंस्ट्रक्शन बाय रीडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन वी कैन प्रिडिक्ट द आउटपुट ओके सो हेयर फर्स्ट दे डिक्लेयर इंटीजर दे डिक्लेयर टू इंटीजर ए एंड बी टू इंटीजर्स आर देयर ए एंड बी राइट ए एंड बी नाउ वैल्यू ऑफ ए इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन एंड वैल्यू ऑफ बी इक्वल टू सेवन दैट इज करेक्ट आफ्टर दैट नाउ नाउ ए इक्वल टू ए मॉड ए माइनस थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी ए मॉड ए माइनस थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी ए इक्वल टू ए मॉड सेवन ए माइनस थ्री सो वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ ए ए विल बी फिफ्टीन एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ मॉड आई एम गोइंग टू राइट परसेंटाइज सिंबल बिकॉज दिस इज द एक्चुअल सिंबल राइट इन सी वी यूज दिस सिंबल फॉर मॉड सो ए वैल्यू ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ ए वी विल राइट फिफ्टीन बिकॉज वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज फिफ्टीन इंस्टेड ऑफ मॉड आई रॉट दिस परसेंटाइज सिंबल एंड ए माइनस थ्री ए माइनस थ्री वैल्यू ए माइनस थ्री वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ए इज फिफ्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री विल बी ट्वेल्व राइट सो ट्वेल्व सो वॉट विल बी द आउटपुट वॉट विल बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस सिर्फ वी डिवाइड फिफ्टीन बाय ट्वेल्व दैन रिमाइंडर विल बी थ्री सो नाउ वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी थ्री सो आफ्टर दिस स्टेप वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी थ्री सो टिल देन इट इज क्लियर राइट आफ्टर दैट नाउ b equal to b mod a minus 3 so now let's find the value of b b equal to b what is value of b b equal to 7 7 percentile 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 is 4 so what will be the answer what will be the remainder if we divide 7 by 4 the remainder will be 3 right so now answer of b will be also 3 so now value of b will also be 3 till here i think that is clear right now after that After that, after this step, a equal to a mod one. Now, after that, a equal to a mod one. Now, a equal to what is value of a? Now, last value of a equal to three, not fifteen. Please note. Now, value of a equal to three. Uh, after this step, so three. Here, I am going to I am writing this condition, right? A equal to a mod one. A instead of a, we will write three and mod instead of mod, we will write this percentile symbol. After that, mod one. Sorry, one. One. So after that, what will be the output? So if we divide three by one, then what will be the remainder? Remainder will be zero. Correct. Similarly, we can find this. So b equal to b mod one. What will be the what is the answer of b? Sorry, I, what is the value of b? B is three. Again, mod one equal to remainder will be zero. And let me give you one trick. So actually, you don't need to. Uh, check these two conditions because because if whenever you are finding the mod by one, please note. Let me give one formula. X. Uh, this is X. Uh, sorry, please. My writing is not good because here I am trying to uh, type. I am trying to type from the mouse, right? Okay. So suppose this is X. X. X mod one. Output will be zero. If you divide anything by one, then remainder will be always zero. So actually, you don't need to check these conditions. I checked just for your explanation. You don't need to check these two steps. So a will be zero, b will also be zero. A equals zero, b is zero. So we have to print a plus b. A plus b. It means zero plus zero. Answer will be zero, right? Now this is the final answer of this. If you didn't understand, just please um, go back, go back and uh, understand this part in its from starting. If you still, if you have any doubt, you can directly ask me in the comment box. and you can join our telegram channel you can ask your doubts there also i'll definitely try to reply right now let's discuss about next question question number 5 so question number 5 is uh, what will be the output of the code so this is very easy question so question is has include stdo.h int main char c so here we declared character that is c c equal to inside this single quote we declared capital a and here after that we are trying to print the value of c and here please note here we are using percentile d percentile d we are trying to print it means what percentile d will do percentile will percentile d 
will print always integer value so what is the integer value of c so c is equal to c is equal to capital a so here it will always give the sky value a s c i i value uh, if you don't know about the sky value let me do one thing so you can just search simply search on google a s c i i value list after that you can simply search then you will find lot of website anything for example let's click on the first one a s c i i table here you can see here if you scroll here you can see sky value for capital a will be 65 sky value for capital b will be 66 it is in alphabetical order so you don't need to learn all the things simply if you learn sky value of capital a will be 65 by that way you can calculate all the values because it is in the alphabetical order b will be 65 plus 1 66 c will be 65 plus 2 cap, uh, 67 like that you can know right so so and small a sky value for small a will be 97 and for capital a it will be 65 so here what we have to print we have to print capital a so for a sky value for capital a will be 65 so correct answer is 65 right yeah so that's it from my side in this video if you have any doubt please feel free to ask in comment box you can join our telegram channel i'll provide link in the description box if you think this video is helpful like this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching this video